Digital Art Academy presents a preview of Anime Studio Pro 6 by Dr. Eddie Harrison. In this preview, I'm not going to explain every little detail like I do in the class itself, but this should give you a good idea of what the lessons are like. And you're welcome to share this file with anyone who might be interested in studying Anime Studio Pro 6. Welcome to Anime Studio Pro 6. I want to give you a very quick overview of classes 1 and 2 and what we're going to be learning in those classes. In just four weeks I'll teach you how to create UFOs flying through outer space, animated alien cities, and a beautiful coral reef scene filled with exotic fish, undulating seaweed, and a very hungry shark. Now for the rest of this you can pause the video and read this in more detail. Week 1 is divided into two parts. We're going to do the intro animation, which gives you the basic tools, and then we're going to create the UFO. It's important that you save this UFO because we'll be using it in Lesson 2. This was the sketch I created in Corel Painter that inspired the arrival. And here's what we create in Part 2 of Lesson 1, the UFO. And by the end of Lesson 2, this is what you've created. Pretty amazing stuff. In Lesson 3, we create the coral reef background and then bring it to life. Again, I just love when it comes to life like that. It's alive! And in Lesson 4, we create the actors and begin to direct them or animate them in our set. Watch the jaws on that shark and look how they open and close. <laughs> I'll put this up for just a moment so you can look at the titles if you wish to. Remember, pause the video so you can read these. Here's lesson three and four. Now, I think of the two classes as a continuum. In other words, there are eight lessons that give you a solid foundation in Anime Studio Pro 6. So, in class two, building on the foundation of class one, I'll show you how to create a pirate ship, a tropical island with an active volcano that belches smoke and fire. You'll assemble a crusty old pirate design pirate faces, and then place the pirate on board the ship and make him wave to the landlubbers. Watch out for the annoying seagull. You'll use cameras to create cinematic effects. Here's lesson five and six. In lesson five you learn to create the ship, the island, the waves, and the bird. In lesson six you'll create a pirate. You'll learn how to create that pirate and put him on board the ship and get him to wave. You'll also learn how to use the cameras to zoom in so you can get greater detail in your animation. You'll begin to realize the only limitation is in your imagination and you can create all kinds of crazy stuff. By lesson seven you have the basics down so we can get in a little deeper and begin to work with the switch layers. And here you can create a South Park kid. Notice how the mouth instantly changes or we can have it morph from one shape to another. I'll show you how you can use a photograph or a character and create jib-jab style animation for the mouth. As an extra, I'll toss in the Jonathan character just for fun. Here's lesson seven and eight. You'll learn how to make the mouth move by sound or to create phonemes. This is directly from one of the lessons and I show you how to create a three-dimensional object in Anime Studio Pro 6. It's amazing. Three-dimensional object in a two-dimensional animation program. I'll show you how to create a sense of depth by using layers. You can see here the objects move by each other because of the layers. In lesson eight I'll show you how to create a single candle flame, how to turn it into a message if you wish, and how you can make a simple birthday wish. My sister will eventually forgive me but watch out for the evil candle eyes. <laughs> we'll begin to work with particles and we can run the ship on stardust. You'll learn to make all kinds of interesting things using particles. Notice how some of the stars are behind the letters and others are in front of them. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what I teach in these eight simple lessons. It gives you a good solid foundation so that you can learn Anime Studio Pro 6 and go on to any of the newer versions as they come out. As my good friend Jace would say, 
Welcome to a class in Anime Studio Pro 6 by Dr. Eddie Harrison. He's such an imitator. Best wishes and keep on animating. I hope you enjoyed this preview of the class. Please share this file with anyone who might be interested in studying this amazing program.